so hey guys and welcome back to another video so today in this video we'll be looking at one of the question from the trippy query website and i guess this question is me rated as a medium role problem and let's see how it goes so the question states that given the employees and the department's table we have to write a query to get the top three employees employees salary by department okay so if the department contains less than three employees the top two or the top one highest salary should be listed and we can assume that each department has at least one employee and we should uh, the output should include the full name of the employee that is i guess they are speaking about the first name and the last name so this will be interesting and then uh, and they have mentioned that in the it should be mentioned in a single column and then the department name and the salary the output should be sorted by department name in ascending order and then the salary in descending order so uh, regard in regards with our table we have five columns in our employees table which is the employee id the first name last name salary and then the department id and then we have the department table where we have the id of the department and then the department's name so we can join these two columns uh as a inner join and then we can get those values that we need and the values we need are the employee name and then the department's name and the salary so okay let's start coding so firstly we will join the statement so select star from the employees and i will call this e and then i will join the tables so i will do a join on the depart months d on uh, e dot department id equals to our what's that department d dot id so once we have joined this table uh, we can get all the uh, values that we need so we will require a ct table so let's keep build a ct table right now so the first thing we have to get is the employee's full name which is the first name uh, and the last name so we can get that by adding a space and we can concatenate both those strings uh, so let's do that i will get the first name of the employee so e dot first name and then we will concatenate it with the space and we will concatenate the space with our e dot last name and we can call this as our employee name and the next thing we need is the salary so we will get salary from the employee table as well salary and once i get the salary i need the department's name so d dot name so i can type this here so d dot name and now like uh, what we can and the next thing that we need is the uh, rank of those employees based on their salaries uh, but uh, i think we do i we don't need to rank or like rather we can just give a row number to each and every employees based on the a uh, department and we can order it by the salary so we'll use the row number function and we will partition it by our department id which is maybe d dot id and we will order it by the dot salary and we can call this as rank okay so and we can call this as department name and we can call this as salary done so we will write our final table so we will select the employee name salary of oh, no, the department name 
the salary okay so of those whose rank is less than or equal to 3 and we will get this from our CT table so I guess this should work so let's see oops I don't know why we have this value but let's see we will order oh yeah we should order them so we will order oops so we should get the descending order here and here we need to order it by our department name so order by two in ascending order and then we need to order it by the salary in sending order so I think this should work mm. oops it's on by still oops this employee name is not working mm, this is the only way i know how to concatenate the strings maybe i guess this is a uh, code for post -ray. this will work only for post grades i guess let's run this Yeah, so we have passed the cases because like uh, this this format for concatenating the strings work with the Postgre SQL and I'm not sure how it will work for uh, others like the MySQL but let's just submit the solution. Yeah, all the two cases has been passed. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, thanks for watching and have a nice day.